Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 Custom ROM Reviews. In this video, I am going to explain about this PO SPA Proton OS for Poco X3. You can see here Android version is 13 and August 5th, 2022. Google Play system update is 13 baseband version. You can read here. Kernel user is 4.14.190 Quick Silver puff surya kernel has been used build number is given and this is the latest available build for poco x3 slash nfc i am using recently mime 13.0.1 global firmware use the same guys you will be amazed to see some of the results here and you can see auto brightness sensor is also working fine here and volume panel this how it is and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 5 minutes and 6 seconds you can see here the maximum score is 154 and average is 150 and minimum is 112 million jps it's throttled to 93 percent of its max performance the throttling was done at the beginning according to the app and this is how the pill and this is a very simple app drawer you get here and home screen there is no minus one screen and there is no next screen here and this is the quick settings panel and you will come to know which wi-fi is connected is it a 2.4 gigahertz or a 5 gigahertz and android 13 if app is active you will get a notification here downside you can press it and use it and settings panel is moved to the downloads even the power button is also moved to the downside and in the edit section you get plenty of options here if you want you can drag and use them this is the quick settings panel regarding smoothness in the quick settings let me check out as you can see it's fine not bad but it's not great even that you need to keep it in mind and google photos unlimited storage is available in this room no need to worry regarding that and direct video call feature is available and call recording feature is also available no problem regarding that even the uh, earpiece quality is also fine enough and carrier aggregation support is there and uh, geo giga fiber i have wi-fi connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mps which is not a problem here and app drawer you get this kind of here and when i move into wallpaper sun style let me change here there are no wallpapers pre-installed in this particular rom and dark theme you can enable or disable from here in a while i will explain about dark theme also and widgets you get all the android 13 style android 12 or 13 nothing change in terms of visual experience i already explained in evolution x 13 i mean 7.0 snow version if you want to check that i will give a card here do check out that video also and notification dots give a paranoid launcher here obviously the rom is also based on that only as you can see now notification dots you can expect from any app whenever you get a notifications safety net status will it get passed yes you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use you can use now starting with benchmark results the geekbench scores you can see 552 single score and multi score is 1700 and uh, kernel as i said before linux 4.14.190 quick silver puff surya kernel has been used here this is fine in my opinion and animations are cool enough and recent apps you can see here it's not the fastest you can see slight delay is going on but it's fine in my opinion this is an android 13 build rom that you need to keep in mind and android benchmark results you can also judge the app opening time and you can see here massive 3 lakh 71 is the score and temperature raise is 3.7 degrees celsius and battery drop is 3 percentage during this testing this is the paranoid POSPA rom for poco x3 slash nfc and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys many people are watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel i don't know why have a subscribe to my channel you will be getting amazing videos regarding poco x3 slash nfc and some of the other tech related videos not only just custom roms very soon tech related videos are also coming in my channel i hope you guys support me and if you like the video give it a like for this particular video and coming to some other options like google maps are working fine and drm information here you get level one certification no need to worry watching the ott applications like netflix and uh, whatever it is hotstar those things will be played in high definition no need to worry regarding that it's an lcd display whatever the capability it have it is having in this particular rom no need to worry regarding those things 
and Play Store certification. Yes, of course, when safety net status passes, it will get certified devices. Certified, no need to worry regarding that. And this is the settings panel. It's not as smooth as previously. What I made yesterday, the MIUI ROM, it is very responsive and very smooth. Of course, this is an AOSP type of ROM, and that is MIUI. Both are very different. I do understand. But I'm just telling if you want very smoothest way, you can check out that video yesterday I made it. Have a look on that Ricolino edition. I think that's very good in my opinion in terms of user interface, fastness and smoothness. And even this is also smooth enough. Not I don't compare with that, but if you compare with other iOS ROMs, as of now I have seen ROS and Evolution X, and this is the third ROM with Android 13. Let's see what Pixel Experience ROM will bring with Android 13. On security features, you get fingerprint unlock here, no face unlock, and encryption credentials. You can see ROM is by default encrypted. No need to worry regarding that. And what can I say about this ROM? Is it a daily driver? Let me check out this display settings here, screen time and dark theme. Let me enable this. It's not in pitch black condition. There are no customization here. Night light colors are kept to saturated to look a little bit better in videos. You can keep whatever you want. Smooth display, enable it. What exactly refresh rate is going on? We can't judge it. Just smooth display option is available here. Notification, everything is working fine in my opinion. There is no problem regarding that. Sound and vibration, you get all the basic settings like vibration and haptic feedback, ring vibration, notification vibration, alarm vibration, touch fabric. Feedback also you can customize from here and media vibration and vibration first then ring gradually. These options are cool and handy. Have a check out whenever you flash this ROM or if you want to flash this ROM. These things are available and media player is also given here. You want you can disable from here. No direct sound settings here. Let me show you again here. Where is that sound settings? You can see no direct sound settings in this. Keep in mind and uh, battery battery usage you can check out here the ideal battery drain is very very low in this particular rom if you are looking for very good battery life in android 13 i am speaking if you want android 12.1 12, 12 then go for spark os arrow os those have very good battery life compared to these android 13 roms and extreme battery server is also available you can see here it's a simple AOSP ROM and some of the features are missing. I hope they add in upcoming builds. This is an initial build of Android 13 and I don't recommend for gaming guys. Don't jump for Android 13 as of when the ROMs releases. Take a time. It needs some more time for Android 13 and gestures you get gesture navigation into settings. There is no option. It's fine enough. It's medium length. It's not too big or too small to it's even differentiated from the actual screen that's fine if you want you can go to three button navigation one handed mode is fine here android 13 style if you want you can select to show notification and pull screen to reach and one handed mode shortcut just use that very simple in my opinion all android 13 features are available in this room i don't think so and i don't know exactly because what happened in android 12 to 13 is there are no significant changes you can see at least in what i can say the ui wise i mean visual changes are very less compared to under 12 to under 13 but internally there are a lot more changes are going on it takes time for me at least to learn if you guys know anything about android 13 as of now you can comment down in the comment section guys i am experiencing a little bit better in ui in certain areas not in every area that you need to keep in mind and security let me show you the fingerprint unlock how it unlock your smartphone as you can see that wobbling effect is still there nothing new here compared to android 12 and android 13 and this is how the ui smoothness it's fine not bad comparing android 13 i can recommend this one or evolution x that in means i will go with evolution x because it has a little bit of customization it depends upon you it's for me i like evolution x and i hope you guys need to wait for some more time you will get very good roms based on android 13 then you can switch it to that and gaming you need to wait a lot more compared to natural usage this is how the my review for this POSPA rom for poco x slash nfc i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video good luck and we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling baba for now